this video, we are going to see how to write job description with ChatGPT. So let's say you have got the job titles in your spreadsheet. So every time a new row is added there, then with the help of ChatGPT, which is a chatbot of OpenAI, you want to first generate the content. And then the same content should become a part of your Google Sheet as an updated cell value. Now how can that be done? For this, you will have to integrate the applications and the same thing can be done using Public Connect software. So here your trigger application will be Google Sheets and your first action application be ChatGPT and then it will be again Google Sheet to update the cell value. Now how can you do this yourself? Integrate and automate this entire process. To understand that, let me take you to my screen. Let's say this is my spreadsheet. The name is job description. Here we have got two column fields, job title and generated job description. Now what is my objective in this particular integration? Let's say I have written the job title business analyst okay so as soon as i write that and click on enter what should happen automatically with the help of chat gpt the job description should be generated and then it should get updated in my google sheet and here you can see that we have received the same now how can we do this and how can we set up this integration to understand that let's begin now let's understand how we can do the same. So first I'm going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect and here we have reached the landing page of this software. Now on the right hand side we have sign in and sign up option. So I'm an existing user. I'm simply going to click on sign in. If you are new you can sign up. It won't take more than two minutes. Now here we have reached all applications page. So these are the various applications of Pabli and here I'm going to click on access now for Pabli connect. We have reached a dashboard. Yes, on the right hand side, we have a tab create workflow. So click on this and a dialog box will appear, which would ask you to name this workflow. Now you can here give any random name. What is my objective here? So let's say that I've got certain job titles like a business analyst or marketing manager. Now my objective is that with the help of chat GPT, I should be able to generate the job description against these titles. So I'm going to name it as write job description with chat GPT. Now let's click on create. So as we do that here, we have reached another window which has got two extremely important events. One here is trigger. Another one is action. Now triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger is when this happens. Action says do this. So as per this integration, every time there is a title. So let's say the title is in my spreadsheet Google Sheet. So here my trigger application will be Google Sheet. So I'll take the title from the trigger application. Then my action application would be chat GPT where I'm going to generate the content and then later I'm going to update the cell value of my spreadsheet. So here I'm going to choose the first application which is going to be Google Sheets. Let's click on this. Now the trigger event here would be new or updated spreadsheet row. So every time a new row is added to my Google Sheet, then automatically it should be able to generate content. Now here you can see that we have received a webhook URL which is going to act as a bridge for connecting Google Sheets with Pabli Connect so that Pabli Connect can collect the information and then process it. So I'm going to copy this. Now once copied here, you can see these are the steps that you're supposed to follow. So this is the help desk given. Please read this carefully. I'm going to exactly show you what you have to do. So this here is the Google sheet that I have created. The name of the spreadsheet here is job description. The name of this particular sheet is sheet one. And then we have two column fields. One is job title and generated job description. So let's say the job title here is business analyst. Now what you have to do is we have to go to extensions. Then we have to go to add ons and here get add ons. So as we do that, we have reached Google workspace marketplace. Here we have to look for Pabli connect webhooks. So here it is. And you can see that this particular application has already been installed on my system. So once you have installed this, you have to close this window. Do not forget to refresh the page. It is absolutely important. Once you have refreshed the page, then we are going to wait for a few seconds and then we are going to go back to extensions. The moment you will do that, you would be able to see Pabli Connect webhooks over here. Then we are going to go to initial setup 
and here you can see that the sheet has already been selected by the system now this webhook url that we had just copied what i'm going to do is i'm going to paste this url over here now comes the trigger column so the trigger column is the final data column where the data is added so in this particular sheet my data is added here right so this is column number a so i'm going to write column a so i'm going to click on submit so as soon as i do that here you can see that the configuration is all set let's click on send test so as we do that so again we can see that the test data has been sent successfully now i'm going to close this now i want that every time a new data is added here then automatically publish connect should get the response but that can happen only when you go to extensions go to public connect webhooks and you see this send on event and you see this check mark right in front so remember that it has to be there okay now let's say that it is not there just click on this and you would be able to receive the same and this is important so that public connect can gather the information now once this is done i'm going to take you back to public connect and you can see that here we have received the api response so this here is the trigger column then we have the spreadsheet name spreadsheet id sheet name sheet id this here is the row index and the job title is business analyst now my objective is that with this job title i should be able to generate the job description so here in action application i'm going to use chat gpt here it is the action event here would be to ask chat gpt let's click on connect so here public connect is asking to connect itself with the chat gpt account i'm going to click on add new connection and now here we need a token to set up this connection to receive this token first you have to log into your open ai account so i already have done that and once done you have to click on this hyperlink so once this is done you can create a new secret key and uh, let's say the name of this key is new one two three four okay create secret key and here is the key see, uh, generated so i'm going to copy this go back to public connect and paste this over here so once done let's click on save to set up this connection and here we can see that chat gpt is now connected with public connect so once done we have to select the ai model now here we have got two options gpt 3.5 turbo gpt 3.5 turbo 0301 so this here is the latest model we are going to go ahead with this then comes the prompt now what is prompt here prompt is the instruction that you provide to chat gpt here we have an example example draft an email for taking a leave tomorrow so as soon as you write that so you will get an email template so here what i'm going to do is i'm going to write a this write a job description for the title okay and now i'm going to map the title so what is my title here i'll go to step one go down and this here is the title so write a job description for the title and here is the title let's click on save and send test request and here we can see that we have received the api response so i'm going to go down and this here is the content generated so the position is business analyst then we have the job summary key responsibilities have been given so here we can see that yes we have got the entire job description now once i've received this what is my objective i want to update this google sheet that i've created you know with the content that has got generated so i'm going to take you back to public connect add another action step this time again the application will be google sheet so let's click on this and now the action event here would be to update cell value now let's click on connect so here public connect is asking to connect itself with the google sheets account so i'm going to click on add new connection sign in with google and here i have to select the account so once selected so here public connect wants to access my google account this is absolutely secure so i'm going to click on allow and here we can see that the authorization has been successful now comes the name of the spreadsheet so here we can see that it has already captured the name and if you wish to change you can always select like this then we have the sheet so since there was only one sheet so it has also captured the same now comes the range so the range of the sheet that needs to be updated it has to be mentioned with this so column name and row index so here you can see the column name is b so i'm going to write b here now for row index i'm going to map the value how am i supposed to do that so as i click on this you can see the previous step i'm going to go to step one go down and this here is the row 
flow index. Now this process with which I have added the information here is known as mapping and this is important so that every time the workflow runs it can take the new data into consideration. Had I written the same thing manually, so even when my workflow was running for the nth time with some new information it would have taken the same information and I wouldn't have got the desired results. Now the next thing is value. So the value again I'm going to map the information as I click on this. This here is the second step and this here is the job description. Now I'm going to click on save and send test request. And as I do that here we have received the API response. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you to my Google Sheet and yes here you can see that against this job title I have received the entire job description for the position of business analyst. So this basically means that our integration is a complete success but we also need to check the same in real time. So here what I'm going to do I'm going to write another title. So let's say this, this time it is executive assistant. Okay, now as soon as I write executive assistant and I click on enter, what should happen? So first of all, with the help of chat GPT, the job description should be generated and then it should be updated here in the cell value. So let's check for the same. We are supposed to wait for the few seconds over here. And yes, here you can see job title is executive assistant. This here is the job summary. Then we have the roles and responsibilities, qualifications. So this basically means that our integration is a complete success. Taking you back to Pavli Connect, let's quickly understand what we have done. So here our trigger application was Google Sheet where the event was new or the updated spreadsheet row. Then our first action application was chat GPT where the event was asked chat GPT and our final action application was Google Sheet where we had to update the cell value. I hope this is absolutely clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow which is given in the video description. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Let's say you have some specific integration to work on, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pavli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pavli.com. You can also visit our website, which is www.pavli.com slash connect. To get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.